On May 11, activists in Colombia denounced violent evictions of families carried out in the national capital, Bogota, in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic. Many condemned the mayor of Bogota, Claudia Lopez, for leaving vulnerable families on the streets during a public health emergency. Since May 2nd, the mayor's office and riot police have been forcibly evicting slum-dwelling families in the neighborhood of Altos de la Estancia. The shacks are built on a 46,000 square meter plot of land housing nearly 700 families. The neighborhood is a park area in the Ciudad Bolivar district with high terrain risk. It is occupied by homeless locals, migrants, peasants, indigenous people and unemployed workers. The majority of the people are victims of armed conflicts. The authorities have justified the evictions, arguing that the homes were built on unstable terrain and the people residing there are at high risk of possible landslides. The people evicted, on the other hand, claim that they have no other place to live and that they have not received any assistance from the district or national government. People in the community also said that they were violently attacked by the Mobile Anti-Disturbances Squadron or the SMAD. The SMAD is the riot control unit of Colombia's national police and have been working on the ground to carry out the eviction orders issued by local authorities. Community members also reported that one of the homes were demolished while an elderly man was still in sight. Reports have also stated that SMAD officials fired tear gas into a house with minors. The popular Human Rights Network of Bogota also condemned the violent and disproportionate intervention by SMAD. Colombian media network Colombia Informa, which has been closely following these evictions, claimed that on Saturday their correspondents were prevented from covering the evictions and were removed from the site by security forces. The Foundation for Freedom of the Press condemned the incident and deemed it as an attack on press freedom. Many have questioned the intentions of the district government for speeding up the eviction process during the quarantine since the land has been occupied for more than 20 years. The eviction of the people in the midst of an outbreak and prohibition of media coverage raises serious questions to the so-called progressive government of Mayor Lopez. This is not the first time that the city administration has responded with force and repression to marginalized communities already suffering in the pandemic. Bien, cantan que vamos.